It's a rough stuff. Furlongs. Okay, so. So while the weather is on and off like it is at the moment and I can't really get under the car without getting wet, I've decided to just convert the lathe into a mill uh, by using this as a base plate, uh, which is just 10 mil steel, uh, and attaching this XY cross slide that I got from uh, eBay, which cost me about 50 bucks and um, came broken. but. If you can see there, it's just the indicator dial or ruler or whatever, but it's pretty garbage. I don't even think it's in metric, uh, which is fine. So I'm just doing this for rough stuff. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. I'll just drill and tap into that base plate and take a few videos as I go along. Okay, so the uh, the mill worked pretty good. I ended up with a piece sort of looking like that. Um, those little lines on the side there um, happened when I didn't tighten everything up and the uh, end mill actually bit in and uh, sort of like ripped it really close to ruin the piece. But fortunately, I had to take a bit off the side anyways to clearance for the carburetor. But um, in doing that, I actually broke one of the end mills. So it's either embedded in here or in the lathe or in my eye, um, but apart from that, it's been okay so far. So all that I have left to do, I gave it a little polish up just because I wanted to see what it looked like, but all I have to actually do now is just uh, further drill out these two holes uh, and tap them, and I'm just gonna put some like hectic thread locker in there. I might have a little think about it because I'm kind of scared having anything that can sort of move in and out uh, and fall into the manifold um, because I really don't want to have everything fall apart because I put in heaps of effort into this. Um, but yeah, so like essentially that's what the the footprint of the carburetor looks like at the moment. Um, and it's just gonna sit on the top like, like so. Um, uh, I just need to sort of figure out what is the size of the bolt that I'm gonna have to run through there, but that shouldn't be too hard. Um, but I'll show you as I go along. Oh yeah, and I shaved my beard because at the time of filming this, yeah, it's Movember, so I'm gonna grab my Mo back um, and look Schmick doing it. So that's 28 mil. I'll probably have to put in a bit more for the nut and just for the plate itself. Um, I'm just cutting down the bolts. It's gonna hold this in. Right, as you can see, I've got one in there after I nip the top off. That's just a uh, an actual nut that I've put onto it. I'm not happy with that because I wanted 10 mil down the bottom. Um, obviously, because this has got to sit in fairly tight, which is annoying as hell. But I'll just have to go to the go to Bunnings, I guess, or or somewhere and finish this up tomorrow, I guess. So after 
that yesterday I um, fixed up the bolt situation, just got a couple more and I've just put red thread locker in there. Um, and so while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to make up a bracket for the turbo mount. So it's just gonna sit on the exhaust fly, uh, flange just to give it a bit more support. Um, so all, all of that sort of pressure is not being pushed down on the, on the manifold, which only has two connection points underneath. It's a bit of a wonky design anyway, seeing as it's a, um, a horizontally opposed engine. It's not just like one log, it's this whole long thing like you've seen before. Um, so I'm just starting it up here. Essentially that's the main bit of it and I'm just gonna essentially uh, bend up a bit of uh, plate metal here just to sit along and give it some strength. And then I'll paint it and make it look nice, hopefully. Um, and then hopefully by the end of today, I'll be able to get the manifold on with gaskets and everything. So it won't have to come off again. Um, and I can get at least close to putting the carburetor on. Uh, and then once I've done that, I can pretty much finish the, um, the exhaust manifold, uh, at least up to the turbo mount. And then I'll have to try and think of what I'm gonna do for the exhaust, but that'll be all right. It'll, uh, all come together. I just want to knock a few things out of the park today. flow thermostat there uh, for just in case if it gets hotter um, obviously being turbocharged um, and then just some permatex aviation grade gasket sealant better just check the book to see which way it goes in wouldn't that be embarrassing stretchy gasket but we'll see how we go you never know I've been mopping up one hell of a mess so very excitingly I've managed to uh, mount the Solex 32 DIS onto the manifold using that little uh, that plate um, only problem I found was that I had to um, make up some of my own gaskets just using this uh, double-sided manifold sheet, which is a bit hard to work with, but it's asbestos free. So your kids can eat it. <laughs> stuff. 